What is going on guys, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 11th WordPress theme development tutorial and in this tutorial I'm just gonna create out of this red header from CSS and HTML sort of so you could probably skip this tutorial if you're not interested in designing web page and just the WordPress stuff but anyways I'm gonna cover this so that you guys don't miss upon anything well let's get started with this so for now we have just added our theme and uh, yeah so we need to customize this a little bit so what I want to do is that pretty much inside here inside styles let's just add my theme name etc stuff so theme name is is uh, honor theme and I guess I have a typo right there isn't it so let's just correct that and uh, honor theme and we would actually need to do a couple of things again so this would be my themes and uh, this theme is broken obviously so just activate the honor theme and we have got rid of that actually okay so cool now again in honor theme I'm gonna open footer functions header and index so where were we uh, yeah inside the styles so inside styles we have theme name as honor theme theme URI as codedam.com let's just say author mail then author URI pretty much you could add anything like facebook.com slash mail mpd then for description you could say that most awesome team ever then what we have next I guess it's version so you can add a version let's just say this is version 1.0 and then there's some sort of license stuff I don't really remember that you could just hook up to WordPress site and check that out and let me know as well so reload this and as you can see if I click on this this is most awesome theme ever by Mehul and version and all that stuff so pretty cool till now now what I want to do is inside style I want to say margin 0 padding 0 and uh, what that would do in our page actually okay wait a minute I guess we haven't even uh, equipped with the style sheet actually so go to your header.php first and say link and uh, actually no not like that let's do with the nq function so I'm gonna say wp function theme scripts nq enq u e u e pretty nice and uh, don't forget the brackets right there so I'm gonna say WPNQ and uh, that's not what I want so I'm gonna write this as a style then handle SRC that's pretty helpful let's just say this is uh, styles official or let's just say main styles then for SRC I'm gonna say this is get style sheet uh, style sheet URI actually uh, what is this style sheet URI okay no depths no word no media so let's just get rid of that and uh, yeah so let's check that out again okay so we need to actually hook that up as well so again add action we're gonna say WP E N Q U E Q U E U E scripts and then your name of the function which is in my case theme scripts in Q so pretty sweet and reload you can see the styles are now successfully loading as well as being applied in the theme actually so now we can do our stuff now for header purpose we need 
to span it 100% across the screen, which it is right now, so no problem there. For N60, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna say this is worth 960 pixels, margin is 0 auto, and uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it we're gonna need for N61. And right here, here we go. Then for logo, what we need is uh, let me just check out what this font is Roboto Light. Okay, so we need Roboto Light. So this is Roboto Light. And uh, just go to Google Fonts, open in Google Fonts, and uh, just change this to Light for now. Just copy this thing and uh, actually you could even make this thing dynamic by making users select that what sort of font user wants for their logo and all that stuff but that would be kinda difficult for me to explain right now because we haven't covered a lot in WordPress so far so that's sort of something for another day okay so let me just close this and for now what I want is for logo I want font family as Roboto reload and pretty much we get something like that only so if I just go ahead and check that out it has a font of 40 points and uh, font size let's just say I give it a 30 pixels instead so if I reload you could see it's 30 pixels wide and for the navigation I could just uh, say that this is menu primary menu container or instead what you can do is just wrap this inside another div top navigation and uh, here we go and pretty much just take a look now You'd see that we have got this in top navigation just add a new style say it to float right and say the logo to float left and we'd be good to go just copy these both things inside your styles and make sure you just append that to your pre-existing style and uh, what we need now is that another class dot clear to just say that clear after content is this display block and clear both so now what we are doing is just adding clear class so that it just clears the floats so now you can see that the header is full width and for the stop navigation what we can do is that for top navigation you will ally I can say this is float left list style none margin 10 pixels uh, let me just see how this was okay so text transform uppercase and uh, that's pretty much it for the li ones and uh, again add the style here and for ul li for ul only we're gonna need uh, to add a class style because for dot menu actually you could say the similar thing which we did for the clear one so here we go and just after and you could just use single or double columns for that so we are pretty much done with this and the next thing I want to impart some sort of color to this navigation and it's giving me answers in inches I don't know maybe we could just change this preference for uh, yeah right there so let's just change this to pixels and yeah so that's good
now let's measure this so it's saying me approximately it's 70 pixels height and uh, what this color is is that this header is this color right there so we could have consistency among the PSD and the actual website so here we go and wait a minute oh this should be background actually not the color so here we go and then we have everything else in white and you could actually just specify that here and reload and for allies I could say that top navigation LIA color inherit and uh, text decoration none and yeah that's pretty much it and for I could actually just say display block to this one as well so I'm gonna say padding 5 pixels 0 uh, let's just leave it to 5 pixels only so here we go and for logo one what we can do is that we could say padding 5 pixels 0 to this one actually as well so for logo one we have this thing right here and the only thing that differs is some sort of font so we are gonna just take care of the font actually cancel okay so this is Roboto regular okay so not a problem I guess we do have Roboto regular here normal I guess so we just need to make a couple of changes in our header now I could say that this is for the logo this would be font weight as 300 let me see if I'm right there yep and for the top navigation what I can say is font family is Roboto sans serif and the font weight would be 400 so reload and pretty sweet so this kind of looks like this but the font size is either too small for this one or too big for this one so let's just make this a little smaller font size 10 pixels and I guess 13 pixels is pretty cool so top navigation LIA here we go and the last thing I need to do is say border bottom 2 pixel solid and wait a minute okay so the reason why I did this is uh, because uh, what I'm gonna do wait I'm gonna say that when somebody hovers over this I want to change the border color to white and if I don't add this style right here then it would kind of jump when I hover over so this kind of looks cool doesn't it so for the PSD one I guess we are pretty much done we are just left with these icons which we can do later on so that's it with our header for our WordPress theme and pretty much you could customize it within your WP admin dashboard with the help of menus and you could pretty much say anything like howdy as well and it would sort of reflect in your page so that's cool let's just change this to pages only 
and uh, that brings to an end for this tutorial and if you like this then don't forget to subscribe uh, wait a minute i wanted to refresh so if you like this tutorial then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching